Welcome back. I'm gonna be doing another art video today. Uh, another doodle, so if you're not into that, uh, just wait for something else, I guess. Um, I actually do have a camera and light setup that I'm really pleased with this time. Each video I make, I've been changing something a little bit, and it hasn't really worked out perfectly in the past, but now I think I've got a good balance. Um, the only downside is my camera I'm using is on my phone and it still does crash occasionally. I didn't lose any footage on this video, but it might happen in the future. I'll do everything I can to prevent it, but until I can replace it, there's not really another option. The piece I'm working on in this video is basically just a doodle. It's a very comfortable line pattern um, that I turn back to a lot. Um, you will have seen it in my bullet journal, I think in November's when I did the other one and I had colored it in with colored pencils. And I think that post was one of my more popular ones, so people seem to like it. I won't be coloring in this one, um, but I am arranging the doodles in sort of a composed way. Um, like I mentioned in my a previous doodle video. I, I don't just like to fill pages with all of the same thing. I like there to be some kind of direction, some kind of focal point. And so you'll see I do address that in this video as well. I kind of um, set things up in a way that there's, there's a center to the photo or image, drawing, whatever. The sketchbook is the same as my last video. It's my Crescent Render paper sketchbook that I bound myself, um, so you can either just grab one of their pre-made sketchbooks or you can get the drawing pad and also bind your own. It's actually fairly easy. I use C Lemon's uh, tutorials. She's here on YouTube. Just type in C Lemon handbound notebook um, and it will come right up. The pens I'm using are, uh, two of them are Microns. I grabbed the 03 and the 005 in black, and I pretty much just use the 005 out of those two. And then I also have here a Derwent Graphic Line Maker pen, and this one is in the graphite color, so it's like a gray color. I was actually hoping it would be a little bit lighter in comparison to the black. I was going for a kind of fading out around the edges with the gray around the outside and I didn't quite achieve that effect. So I just kind of ended up using the gray wherever I felt like switching to gray. Um, if you watch, you can kind of see how I, how I slowly figured out that it wasn't showing up the way I wanted it to. Um, in the future, maybe I'll try this again with some different pens, but it still looks pretty good, I think. And like I mentioned in the beginning, this is a very comfortable pattern for me. I kind of default to this one when I want to draw something, but I'm not quite sure what to draw. I do want to work on coming up with more, more varied patterns, more like varied doodles that I can just kind of do when I'm in the mood to make something. Um, but for now, this is good enough. Uh, this, this is only my second piece of this year, so I have plenty of time to experiment and expand my repertoire of patterns and, you know, just kind of grow as an artist. Um, these are very, very early pieces uh, in kind of my, my series here, so um, I'm really pleased with how they're turning out, and they're a lot of fun to do. I had so much fun doing this one. I I put on some TV. I think we were watching The Travelers through most of this one. And it's just a very relaxed style of art for me. And I have actually started on the next one that goes on the neighboring page. And I've decided to use the same pattern but add color. And this one I'm actually not recording. I can't record every single one of my hundred pieces of art because it would just take way too much time and then editing and posting and all of that would just be too much. So I've committed to one video, one art video a week and then my bullet journaling videos and then the rest of the art pieces I'll just put up on Instagram. So um, really if you're interested in my work, uh, follow me there. It's one of the best places to 
kind of experience what I'm doing day to day and not having to wait for the videos to come out. As I was making this drawing, um, I didn't actually start off planning to leave these holes in it. Um, you'll see I kind of fill them in with black and they look like just entrances to the void or something. Um, but I kind of just kept doodling and figured out where I wanted the focal points to be and then doodled around them. And I wasn't quite sure what I was going to put in these spaces at first. Uh, and then at the end, I just thought they might look pretty nice if I just filled them in with black. I really like, um, I don't know where I saw this first, but I love ink drawings with just huge swaths of black in them. Um, you could you could probably guess that from my coffee doodle with the swirling steam over the black background. Um, I'll link that one up in a little card if you want to look at that one. Um, but kind of as I was drawing, I let the drawing tell me what it wanted. Um, I'm really trying to embrace this sort of unplanned, free creativity, and that's part of why I'm doing this 100 doodles in 2018 or 100 pieces of art is to embrace that creativity and just keep creating even if I'm not quite sure what I need, what I want to create at the start of a piece. Um, moving forward always, I think, is one of the best ways to kind of force that creativity into being uh, as harsh as that sounds. So it's about that time. Uh, the video is nearing its end, so I will do my little spiel. If you enjoyed this video, I'm very glad. Uh, please like if you did enjoy it. I guess you could dislike if you didn't, but I would rather you not do that. However, I can't stop you. If you like to see more frequent updates from me of both my art and my bullet journaling, which includes a lot of my art, let's be honest, you can follow me on my Instagram, which will be linked on my YouTube bio. And other than that, I just hope you have a lovely day. Uh, enjoy the rest of this video with some music, and I hope to see you next time.